Hey everybody, welcome to the gun shop. Today we wanted to talk about Faxon Firearms, which is spelled F-A-X-O-N. They have a new 10.5 inch pencil barrel out on the market. So we picked one up to test. Faxon is known for some fairly good quality barrels. They're all made in-house out of Ohio. This barrel is made of 4150 steel. It's 5.56 with a 1 and 8 twist. It is nitrated and it is MPI tested. It comes with M4 feed ramps. It comes with a 11 degree target crowning. It takes a half by 28 muzzle device. It takes a carbine length gas tube with a 0.625 diameter gas block. So this isn't your standard 0 0.750. It does take the smaller size gas block. But we are pretty interested to see how this shoots. I've got a comparison here. On the left is that Faxon pencil barrel and on the right is just a standard 10.5 inch ER Shaw barrel. And there's quite a bit of difference in weight. This ER Shaw barrel weighs one pound nine ounces. Whereas this Faxon barrel weighs fourteen and a half ounces. So this pencil barrel is about half the weight of this ER Shaw barrel. So next thing is we need to take this barrel throw it together with the gun and go out and test it. Hey everybody welcome to the gun shop. Today we are out in Nye Montana at the Nye Montana Association Gun Club uh, range and we're going to test this new Faxon barrel. I should shot some video earlier that we'll put up on here of this Faxon pencil barrel, 10 and a half inch. Uh, now we got it together so we're going to test it out. Jim here is going to explain our test and show you a little bit about this gun and how lightweight it is because it's just incredibly lightweight. Well I'm not sure what the gun actually weighs. The barrel is 0.9 of a pound. It's a less than a pound. Very light thin barrel. We'll get some close-ups for you that you're probably looking at now. So when you have a really thin barrel the question becomes how much is it gonna when it heats up is it gonna move your point of impact? That's probably the the knock against thin barrels versus thicker or bowl barrels. Bowl barrels can handle some heat build up and keep your groups tighter even when the barrel's hot. So this new barrel from Faxon, I think, is going to be a... I expect it to perform pretty good. We'll see. I, I, uh, we're going to give it a little test. And what our test is, well, Jed and I are not good enough shooters, I think, to say that we can measure how accurate a barrel are, or is. We can shoot consistently enough to get some groups. Um, and then, so we'll shoot for some groups, see what the barrel groups. And then we're going to do a, a three mag dump. We're going to heat that thing up. Three quick mags through it. And then we're going to sit down and shoot another set of five shot groups. We're going to do this at 50 yards. And I think uh, we should be able to see how much the group moves when the barrel heats up. Um, and I think it'll be a real interesting test. It's such a light barrel. I guess conventional wisdom is it's going to move quite a bit. But I, uh, a short barrel might help to mitigate that on top of things. It's going to be really interesting yeah. to see what the results are. So that's our test today. A couple little uh, shoot some groups, heat the barrel up, shoot some groups, and see if we have some, some drift. All right, let's get started. So today, as we perform this test, we're going to use Wolf Military Classic uh, ammo. 55 grain, bimetal. Um, Steel cased ammo. 
because I'm a firm believer that ammo is expensive and barrels are cheap. So that's what we're using. Let's begin this test. fun part of the test. We're going to run three mags through pretty quick here and then we'll quickly sit down and shoot the groups right away. So I got one mag in, you're going to hand me them. Here we go. gas in the face. I'm just smoked out from that. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead. Close your bolt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'm going to get my dot a little dark. Later. Okay. Five shot group. Here we go. in that hand guard. <laughs> yeah, it's warm. Well, let's go see if we can figure anything out from this. So again, if I'm not a great shot, but I can do something maybe a little consistently. So I have a group that's essentially right here with a flyer. And that's my cold barrel. And my hot barrel shifted to the left and down. Jed's group, sitting up here about 10, 11 o'clock, shifted to the left and tied down. A little bit down. I had one flyer too, and that wolf. Every ten rounds or so, you'll get a flyer. Yeah, the crazy you Ivan notice, in every we box. Did Twenty rounds, and we had two flyers. So at fifty yards, you're coming off of your cold group. Um, two and a half inches. It's a consistent movement here for both of us. So I'm pretty confident that that's what that barrel will do for anybody. Yep. That it's going to heat up and that hot impact. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, not the, not, I think uh, um, a heavy 10 and a half inch barrel probably would perform better. Oh, you do this test, you find out where, <laughs> where your impact goes. shift is, then you can account for that. And that's the whole At point. At least a little bit. You have a better chance if you're... If you need to put hit somewhere and you know that barrel's hot, if you know which side, we know it moves left. <laughs> so we can aim right if we know that it's, I mean, that's true. It gives you a fighting chance. Know your gun, know your ammo, know your barrel. Um, all right, that was interesting. Thanks for watching.